Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about the things that are happening with hard drives at HGST and WD. Okay, so big things are happening in the world of hard drives. One of the biggest names out there, WD, is continuing its evolution and change of its models. I don't know if a number of you know, but they purchased SanDisk and HGST in the last few years and have incorporated over time all of their models and um, different hard drives and SSDs into the fold with WD. Now, in most cases, the WD drive has prevailed. They've eradicated some of the SanDisk and some of the HDST models, of which there are millions, um, and incorporated those and covered those with WD logos and rebranded them into the fold. But one of the main drives that didn't go that way is, of course, WD Gold. Now, WD Gold on the screen there, along with HDST, now is our two drives that are going end of life. Game over, cheerio. And I know a number of you out there, when you heard about this, were kind of, what, what? Because WD Gold is kind of one of the best drives out there for enterprise level data centers and NAS hard drive users. WD Gold itself has only been around for about two to three years, not even that. Um, I remember when I first saw them at trade shows thinking, whoa, well done WD, you've stuck with your blue, red, green, purple, etc. attitude to colors and incorporate data center as gold. But since acquiring HGST and their Deathstar, Ultrastar series of drives and all of that, what they've noticed is the brand HGST Ultrastar carries more weight and has more recognition in these enormous data center communities. And therefore, rather than run WD Gold and HGST Ultrastar simultaneously, they are retiring one of them. And unfortunately, that one being retired is WD Gold. What does this mean in real terms? Well, don't panic. Because WD Gold, although there is, is going to shift into this new series of drives, you can see it on the screen, otherwise known as the HGST Ultrastar DC for data center series, and there's three different versions there, and they are basically uh, contemporaries and alternatives to the WD Gold drives. They are identical drives. I can't stress this enough. They aren't different under the hood, and if you are running a WD Gold based data center or NAS or SAN server, and you're wondering about replacing drives, then you can go for this new series of drives and you'll be fine. What does that mean for WD Gold? Well, WD Gold is still available currently, but it is going end of life very, very soon. And when those stocks run out, that is it. So if you do have an outstanding RMA for a WD Gold drive, it won't make a vast amount of difference which drive you put inside if you're going to use WD Gold or one of the ones on the screen there from HGST. But it is worth mentioning that for the sake of continuity, if you do have an RMA, maybe get that sort which straight away. Otherwise, if you're thinking of buying a NAS drive now, if you're thinking of buying one of these hard drives now, and you're trying to make the choice between WD Gold and the new data center drives, I'd say you should go for the new data center drives, because once again, they are identical drives. The main difference being just a question of labeling and where it's manufactured. So those new drives are the ones to go for, and that means five years down the line, because they've all got the same warranty of five years, huge cash, 7200 RPM and are available with different speeds and different encryption levels. Yes, the Ultrastar series of drives is nowhere near as straightforward and easy as WD Gold, which came in about 12 different kinds. And yes, the Ultrastar series of drives, there are many, many, many different part numbers to cater for larger data centers. But WD do tell me that they are thinning that herd to a much fewer drives to make the choice a lot easier for data center users. Now, it is also worth mentioning, as you can see from the graphic on the screen above me, that HGST NAS drives are game overs, Phil. They were never popular on this channel, on the blog. They were always the noisiest drive. Great drive, great price, but the noisiest drives in the world. So the fact that they're being retired is obviously something to do with the fact that WD Red is a dominant powerhouse of NAS hard drives, and there was never any question of them retiring WD Red. But nevertheless, if you are interested in getting hold of the right drive to match your WD Gold series, or you're looking for the um, alternative HDST DC Ultrastar drive against the WD Gold, go into the description. There's a link there to an article on NAS Compares where we tell you the exact HDST model to match against the WD Gold, making the process so much easier. By the way, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to learn more about NAS, and remember, all of the new hardware is coming out in the autumn, and I would strongly recommend you subscribe to this channel and NAS Compares to stay abreast of all the new releases. And of course, buy your NAS from Span.com. Cheerio, and I'll see you later.